and I'm with him to check on him throughout the week and be like, hey, how you holding up today? Hey, you doing all right? It's good to see you, man. I'm glad, I'm glad you're here, man. Give me some. You feel me? Burdens, being there for people. That's huge and loving like Jesus did for you and for me. Amen? Amen. So before I pray for y'all, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I can't do that whole thing. But hold on one second, one second. Hold on, hold on one second. I'll let you know. Y'all, love like Jesus because you're loved. You are in the image of God. No one in this world, in this school, at your house can take away God's love for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are the image of Christ, so you have to know who you are. From there, you accept the fact that God wants to love you in all these different situations. It may look tough, difficult, and all that stuff. It may not make sense, but God wants to love you through it all. Through everything. He wants to provide a good friend for you. He wants to provide that money your parents may need. He wants to provide the health, the good health that your, your grandma or grandpa may need, right? God wants to love you, accept these love, these gifts from God, right? And then from there, your job is not done. The Great Commission, I don't like get all in the details, but simply Jesus is like, hey, be my witnesses. So therefore, we're responding to God's love because he has shown it to us, so therefore we're gonna go show it to someone else. Amen? So that every single person will know. They will know that they're in the image of God. They will know that their feet may be stinky and dirty, and yet Jesus loves them. And they will know that they can go encourage somebody else today as well. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Love people like Christ did, amen? Um, this is the last uh, scripture I'm going to share with you. Can we all stand up? This is the last scripture I'm going to share with you. It's later on in this scripture, okay? And it says this. A new commandment I give to you. This is Jesus. You love one another. I, as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. By this by the love that you show to your friends and classmates and parents and teachers, by this, they will know that you are my disciples if you have loved one another. People, look at me, people will know that you are a Christ follower, not because you wear a finny shirt, not because you, know, you have a, a worship song in your ear, right? These are all good things, but they will know by how you love each other, how you love people. How you show encouragement and all of these things to them. They will know that you are a Christ follower because of how you love. Amen? So the same way, the scripture is saying, the same way Jesus showed this, he wants you to do that. Amen? Let's pray. Lord, bless this. Thank you for the blessing this time. God, I pray that in the name of Jesus, you know, the excitement and everything. But I pray that it really, like, spoke to people's hearts and their minds, God. I pray that when they leave here, God, that it's very evident already that you have spoken to their hearts. God, that you have loved them so that they can love other people, so that they know who they are in you, Jesus. And I pray that anything in our hearts that may be stopping us from loving people, you make it very clear to us so that when we go to you, we can repent, meaning we can turn from those feelings, emotions, the, re the revenge, the regret, and love you and love others, God. Be with them. Protect them with this word, Lord Jesus. Even if something comes against them today, let them know that they can love because they are loved, loved by the Father. We pray this and we bless these kids right here and the teachers as well in the name of Christ Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. Amen.